Well, hello everybody. I thought I would share our little fixer upper update. It's been quite a while since I've shared what's been going on with you. Um, it's not been too much, but there are some things happening, so that's wonderful. The first things that have happened, and this was a little while ago, was our plumbing and electrical was all put in. We hired that out. And so the rough in inspection is done, which is great because then we um, moved ahead with sheet rocking. My husband um, sheet rocked most of it already by himself. So even the ceiling, he um, borrowed this lift here so he could do that himself. Um, he has a few spots left, like you can see behind me over there um, on the entryway wall and then over on that side of the kitchen. And then actually over here where the bedroom is gonna be, or the bedroom, the bed really, um, so it was really nice to hire out the electrical and plumbing because that just went so fast. It was really, really handy in that way. It was all up to code since this is going to be an Airbnb rental. Um, and so, yeah, the sheetrock went up and then we are going to hire um, a tape, someone to tape and mud the sheetrock um, just because if you watched my last video last week about prioritizing projects and such, Right now is my husband's busiest time of the year, selling on Amazon in quarter four. So we're just gonna hire out these next projects and hopefully that will help it move along too. And then I did buy some lights for the bathroom, some sconces, and then for the bed area. And honestly, they're the same, but you can have, they're a bronze, or not a bronze, they're a, um, rubbed nickel color, which I think is a very classic color. It'll match my same color of my sink faucet. So I thought I would go with that just to keep it streamlined and very classic. So these lights, I will put the link in the description if I find them. They're on Home Depot. We got them from there. And then I also found an exterior light. It's like a lantern style light. So I'm excited for those to go up when the time comes. So then after the taping and mudding, hopefully, um, I want to beadboard the whole ceiling. So then with the taping and mudding, we'd only have to do really one coat. And then I am going to shiplap this bed wall. I know I was debating on what to do, like a board and batten or shiplap, but I'm, you know, I know shiplap is a fad, but I am gonna do it because I do like it. And I think that's what I would like. And then we'll do a, little beadboard around like halfway up the wall in the bathroom as well. So there's some things moving along. Um, it, like I said, not quite as quick as I would like, but it's coming and that's, that's what's going on. That's how it's happening. Um, yeah, so some things moving on after the mudding and taping, hopefully the beadboard and shiplap will just go quite quickly. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen some of my other fixture upper videos, I'll share those or my playlist in the description box, our exterior color, some of my exterior ideas as well with winter coming. I'm not gonna put up the shutters yet or the planter boxes just because why? Why would I do that when it's gonna be snowy and ruin them right away? So um, we don't really have a deadline yet. I was hoping like by December, but it's middle of first of November, beginning of November, so not quite yet. But I hope this was fun to watch just to see our little update. And again, I will keep you posted as things go. Oh, we did get spray foam insulation that happened after the plumbing and electrical. We hired that up too. Um, and then we'll still have to spray some of the attic area. And I think my husband's gonna do that. So yeah, there's some things coming along and it's exciting it's fun to see so hope you enjoyed have a blessed and wonderful day and i'll talk with you in my next video bye